Good morning. Good morning, brothers. Good morning. Time check 7 a.m. First day here. The SEMA. Please show your hands. Boom. Is that right? Yes. Pulin lang natin yung badge since we arrived late last night. Direct from the airport. Tapos pumikit sa mga ibang dealers na may hinabol ng mga pyesa. We are super excited. We are sleepless. Babangga. Oh! Hindi. That's good morning. Good morning. Race into the finish line. Seatbelt. Fast whips. Got a win in mind. Sit me when I skirt. Automot Off-Road Philippines. We are here at SEMA 2024, day one. Toyota, but luna namin to, then susunod kami sa Ford. We are eager to see what they have and hindi kami nabigo. So uh, we have Ben behind the camera and we have Ford. Let's welcome Ken to SEMA. Yes, finally, finally. Ken, nagkasabay na kami ngayon niya, Randy, we are the ready. For the first time, naayos natin lahat ng schedule. We are here, we thank God for that. But we are very excited to show you. Nakita nyo, aga-aga pa lang shoot dito we have this and stay here we have a two sobrang dami nilang 250 builds papakita natin yun isa isa but the first one may init init pa we have the Calpin Land Cruiser ROX ewan ko na speechless ako sa build na to maglaro talaga let's do a quick 360 Ben pakita mo na lang garage but of course we have the KM3 on this one only the trusted brands lang na kabe. Hindi ko makalit sa online. Pero now, live na pinapakita sa akin sa inyo. Kulay, ang ganda, bumper, naka-wind, roof light. Technical is a product of beauty. Nagkulang lang ko sa lighting. Kasi medyo familiar ako sa mga lighting design. It's all rigid but it's not the official. Pero speaking of lighting, mamaya, pakita natin po yung mga ibang deal na iba-iba. 250, may Overland, may Modelista, may Racing sila. This is the ROX again. Naka-suspension na pulitin niya. Naka-17 na Toyota off-road wheels. 37 by 12.5 R17. Sorry, it's R18. It's R18. Zoom natin po ang tayo. Nandahanin ko lang mga boss ha. Para mas ma-appreciate nyo. Okay. Then we have here a quick turn on Around, ikutin ko lang kayo on this uh, ROX uh, Prado build. Uh, tire carrier. Ito ko lang yung loob. Big up styles na niya, Andy, no? Mukha nga siyang Humvee na, ano eh. Ganda. Super ganda. Saka yung kulay. Yes. Ganda. So there you have this, guys. The ROX build. We have Ken. And bend the dick with me. Ken, bend. Yes. Butas. Oh, sinipa na may ari. Okay. Yung pinaka ano mo? Set seal mo. Yeah. Rock sliders yung nasa baba. And there you have it, guys. The Prado ROX. Moving to our next 250 Land Cruiser, we still have this very futuristic model Lista. Wide body. Actually, then what's this? Off-road wheels. Ah, bidlock, ba? Hindi na. Hindi. Bidlock look lang, but model lista. And then sa tires lang, medyo nabiti na ako. Sana mga PMG nagamit. Thirty-three. Thirty-three by twelve point five. Kaya kung malambot, kanya kanya approach sa man. Pag industry ng client, this model lista, we can have them ordered for you. Gusto lang namin showcase lahat ng nilalabas ni Toyota Boot dito sa Sima para for clients. Different tastes, different approaches, different builds. That's why we are modifying naman. Because it's an identity of each and every one. Modelista Overland Vision Concept. We have a microphone. We have it, guys. Very futuristic. Let's show them the. Kasi mga pakit. Kasi mga ne. Kamo kasi ni Soundwave Transformers. I don't think magugusan sa nangaramihan, but for sure there are very few clients that would love and appreciate this build. 
there you have it the Toyota 250 modelista in white modification kasi meron yung mga clean look eh. mm -hmm. tapos yung namin yan sa Autosilla alright so on to the next one Ken we have my kind of build ganda nito sobrang ganda nito metro classic na yes classic na garden yung jacket na nito yan nakataki we have this na Eagle is very beautiful, super lean stand, tapos KC all the way, we have the KC base rock, KC gravity, and then KC also on the ditch light. Tapos with the suspension, naka-build sign na siya. Build sign, tapos trail hunter na ano, trail hunter na UCA. And then we have this, we got a lot of this yesterday, di ba? Yes, KC Cyclone. Cyclone. Rock light. We have it in amber and white. Yung lighting siya, KC lahat. Meron din tayo yung era 2. Yung mga clients tayo dyan sa Pilipinas na pumipila ka ng Prado wheel. Parang si Kalil Lil, pili ka na lang ano yung mga gusto mong build. With the wheels, this is a... This is 20s, but tingin ko ha, personally kung ako, I'll go with 17s or 18s. Depende na lang din sa kung kasya yung OE brake. So yun, ikutan lang din natin ulit. Mabibilis lang naman. Pakita yung isa na sa list sa grill ko. Yes, yes. Mabilis sa list sa grill. Medyo may nadali na rin nila. Oo, ang daming tama. It's okay. Last year. Sa Pinas bro, yung camera natin nasa taas eh. Pero talaga sa market ng US, yeah. Japan, sa baba. Sa Middle East, sa baba. Uh, baba. baba din Middle East. Meron din sa Pilipinas, nasa harap ng ano eh. <laughs> My birthday. Ang <laughs> <laughs> lang bro. Uh, it's a classic adventure cruiser. So, different version of 250. Yes, yes. Prado 250. So, this is the classic uh, 250 Prado. Ikot ko lang kayo. Sige. Yung roof rack niya. We, yeah. Tapos may ilaw siya sa, look at the details. Ganda. Linis, oh. Ibang din, tinan mo kayo, no? Ganda. Na-incorporate niya talaga, no? Oo. Hindi nyo nagdala, eh. Ay, ganda nitong bumper na to. Parang... Ganda. Look at the... Parang nagkulang din nila lagyan sa, ano, no? Ganda nito, oh. Yan, meron na tayo. Nakapagkabit na tayo. Nakapagkabit na tayo. Yeah. So there you have it guys. So on to the next one. Hey everyone, still here at Toyota booth. We have several Sumrus uh, available. Pakita lang namin isa-isa. Suddenly, walang high lap. No? Walang high lap. Uh, wala rin Takuma. Wala akong makikita ng Takuma. Wala rin akong makikita ng 4Runner. But it's all Tundra. It's all, it's all Sequoia. And the 250. Uh, 250 is a malaking market natin dyan sa Pilipinas. But the Tundra is slowly coming in. So shout out to all our clients. And, uh, the future owners of Tundra, we will be having all this modification available. So, uh, we namin not showcase this one. It's all the basics. Specifically for Tundra, we have the utility rack. We have that Esperance available. Uh, suspension, we have Icon and uh, BB51. Paptec, BDS. Pax, yeah. Ito, automatic to ba, na? Ah, hydraulic siya. So, yun, doesn't have to be info system. They're just uh, showcasing the info entertainment here. Pero we can put a lot of uh, pumping gears. Yun, actually, meron na. May Takuma pala dito. And then we have one more Tundra right here. Ganda nito. Ito, TRD Pro Runner. Ganda. Dito sa US tala... Kaya tignan mo, medyo, medyo may pagka-lighting McQueen. ARB, rear bumper. Tsaka yung ano, tignan mo naman yung BFG. Yung uh, tire sticker niya. Oo, hindi lang. Naging rally talaga siya. Ganda rin ang mags. BFG Pro Runner Race Concept. So, yung race concept naman, ganito yung design. Same color, ganda no? Oo, oh, okay. ganda. Oo, oh, parang stock. Our minds are always crazy. Ganda nga eh, oh. Diba? Ito naman yung Tacoma. Uh, SR5 Global Cup. So, dun sa mga naka-Tacoma natin, uh, pwede itong concept naman yung gayahin natin. Naka-suspension na siya, TRD suspension yan, tapos UCA TRD rin. Pakita natin yung likod. Pro. Naka-Sled Pro. Oh, pata. Yung ARB Bridge. Pelican Box. Shoutout lang sa mukha ko na doon. Ito. Ito yung na, ng... Naka-kamok siya. Uh, Kamok. Oo. Oh. Uh, hindi 
Yes, para dun sa... Pang next jamboree? Pag build ng mga pang overland, kapag 4. And of course, one wind and factor 55 na soon. Maging yeah. available na rin sa atin yan. May mga bibit-biting kami ko konti. So, dun sa mga gusto nyo mag-update, message nyo yeah. kami kung anong kulay yung gusto nyo para ma-reserve namin na. Uh, Ganda. Think, available na rin to eh. So, dun sa mga gusto mag-order, may specific model lang yan. Icon na uh, billet QCA. Ito mm. naman yung CRD. Counterpart niya. Ito sa Luminum. Sobrang gaan. Okay. Ay, ito yata yung owner Hi, eh. Ganda na yan. Okay, Sir. Guys, welcome to our booth. Ah, okay. Uh, meet my friend. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, kung dati sa mga overland deal, um, paanong gaan man yan, Toyota, Ford, hindi nawawala si AR. Pero yung bag mo, nawawala. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nawawala. Kasi sasama lang yung loob ko sa nawala sa akin. Siyempre, ang importante, mapasaya namin kayo. Yan! The ARB Pinnacle Chair, the ARB Pinnacle Table. So, available na yan din sa atin. So, what about? If you want to avail, message us or visit us. Showcasing the Tundra, Tacoma. May papakita pa kami sa inyo last. So, guys, enjoy our food. Enjoy our food. You can visit us here. Hi guys, ito nga pala yung nawawalang bag. Guys, pagka... Sino man nandito sa SEMA, pag nakita nyo yung bag na to, alam nyo na kung saan ibabalik. Oh. Balik nyo na sa Pilipinas. Sa Tsaka yung, ano, yung road mic mo yung nawala. Yung road mic ko nawala. For, saya. Uh, Shoutout pala kay uh, Mac Munir, uh, Dexter Chi, and Kevin Husto. Uh, galingan nyo yung mga builds natin dyan. Ah. Auto boys. You guys here at SEMA, they always do the unbelievable things. Kung ano na iisip nyo na gawa na nila. And if you're that crazy also na gusto nyo gawin, wait, ito muna. Wait, ito muna. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Chai Jin. You know? Yeah, wow. This is a forerunner, you know, one thing to do. Third concept. Third concept. So this is how crazy they are. And we are also, as long as we have that willing uh, client. This is a regular forerunner. Ginawa nilang uh, forerunner TRD surf concept. Forerunner is usually four door, uh, five door actually, kasama likod. But ginawa nilang two door, tas open na lang yung likod. Ginawang pick up. Ginawang pick up. And there you have it, Ken, no? Yung roof na nakakabit na lang ulit. Pang California, pang Hawaii. Just... Grabe ginawa ng Toyota dito niya, Randy. Yes. Actually, akala natin wala masyadong setup ng mga Toyota. Pero with this one, overland, off-road racing concept. Ito na guys, nandito na yung concept. This is, uh, this is why we are here. This is why we are here. Pogi. Sa mga gawa natin tayo, this is pili yung Pinas, hindi na tayo napapawaw masyadong ulit. When we come here, we always get that inspiration. We always get that new learnings. Actually, kakatapos lang ng tatlong klase na namin. Time is only 11.30 na katatlong klase na kami. We started with the early breakfast, meet and greet. Tapos, we had two classes. So, uh, nakakapagod, but the learning is very exciting. And uh, nabubus lalo yung enthusiasm and pagiging uh, our passion towards uh, 4x4s and other cars. Yeah. Pakita mo nga, Ben, yung details nyo. Ngayon ko lang napan na meron palang airbrush yung ano pati yeah it's like the waves the waves Hawaii 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 uh, oh oh ano pala ang tawag at Hawaii hindi hindi ito kasi ni Ken siyempre ikaw hindi mo Waikiki 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 yung isa lang ang kulang nyo ano ka sa ito TRD 3 inches ata yan or 3.5 3 no I love the combination of the, ito, I, mean, I might call it, siguro the smurf blue, bagay dito sa navy blue na metal. Yeah. Pakita mo yung ano bro, surf bro. Para sa mga mahilig mag-LU. Ilalim din na tayo boss. Ilalim din na tayo boss. Ilalim din na tayo boss. Overall, okay pa rin pala Ben, nandito na tayo sa last uh, 250 here at Toyota Boot. Gumawa nito si Westcott Designs, if I'm not mistaken. This is the Baja Cruiser Race Edition. Okay. Mga talon, karera, they want to make it lightweight. And syempre, kailangan mo pala pa rin ng konti. Sa ng bumpers, and then uh, CNC grill, kinustomize din nila. We have the Rigid 360 here. I don't know the, the Rigid yet, pero baka parang pinalitan ng nilo ko. 360 pa rin yung framing lahat. Box suspension. This one right here is also customized. Instead of putting the ditch light, dito na nilagay. And then look at the interior. It's all race. Race rig talaga. Yun. Uh, yun. Gumawa si West Cut Designs. They have bucket seat from Sparkle. Tapos uh, one middle seat, roll cage. 
protection lahat suspension adjustment at ato uh, ah the batteries extras yes, extra tire steel on uh, naka roll pitch na rin uh, roll pitch na rin tapos set of pipe pa rin yung wheel set using Toyo uh, Pro, uh, Toyo Open uh, Country and we have here the builder of this car Mr. Jeff Westcott. How are you? The owner, right? Yeah, the sure. Westcott Design. So, yeah. sir, a very inspiring build here at SEMA, Toyota Boot. Can you showcase and uh, uh, explain us what's your concept here and uh, so, uh, where did you get the idea? It's kind of like we always build a lot of overland trucks uh -huh. and I've always been into like I like the desert look, the long travel, yeah. like the big broad shoulder uh -huh. look and uh -huh. stuff like that. And so when we were discussing with Toyota Corporation about, hey, could we build uh, like a rock crawler? Could we build an overland truck? And could we build maybe something out in the desert? And they said, we like the idea of building something out in the desert. So we said, and they said, hey, we'd like you to build something that's something somebody couldn't build in their garage. That's tough. And they said that they wanted us to build something that everything on it was one off. And so that's kind of what inspired us to build this truck. And we touched every panel on the truck and we made every piece on the truck other than like the tires and the wheels and little things like that. But everything on the truck was built within house and we made it all out of sheet metal too we didn't yeah. want to make it out of you know i i saw the mattings i saw the grill it's all customized how long did you get this built then so we did this truck in 90 days wow three months. three months three months yes. wow and, and we kind of had to get it done because we had the truck for six months but originally we built the original it's called the moab cruiser which yeah, is our original build that's the, that's the moab cruiser right there. so we took that truck and we took everything off of it and then we so started what is this sir what is this? So like in race trucks, a lot of times they come into the pits and they come in very fast and they have this drug they put onto this mm -hmm. and then it fills the gas tank like within 20 seconds. It's, it's forced fed into the gas tank. And so, so it's all the this, trucks, not, not yeah. the design. So it's all we built, it designed and everything and we made it so it was functional. Everything on the truck, we made it functional. And then we designed the other side so it kind of looks the same as this, mm -hmm. but that's where the power switches are. Yes, so you yes, turn the so power on, you can jump the car there, you can actually use it for external power mm -hmm. for stuff you're doing, but everything is functional. We also put underneath the rear floor, we put a regular filler for the truck. So yeah. if you pull up to the gas pump, you can fill it just regularly at the gas pump. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. And then you can see all the shock towers uh, up through the back here. You use a fast suspension, right? We did. So Fox built us custom shocks for the front and the rear on the truck. They're all 3.0. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and then their reservoir front and rear. So this is their new fin reservoir race shock in the front that we did in the front. Um, in the back, we had to strap the rear suspension because the U joints wouldn't allow us to put any more dry or droop in the truck. So we got 22 inches of droop in the back of the truck. So it has tons of travel. And then we designed all the bump cans so when, when the suspension's coming back out, back up, that way we can slow down the stop so it actually has the tire in the front for the center. Perfect. So we're able to just get it to work perfect. Perfect. How about the lights right here? Is this a new one or just perfect? We cost them. We use the 360 laser lights. Mm -hmm. Those are the six-inch lights from yeah. Rigid. Rigid. And then we. We are actually uh, yeah. the dealer. Yeah. 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 And you can see it's got a little pin on the side. Mm -hmm. And what that is is so say you're out there and it's starting to get dark out, you're able to throw the light up there very quickly, plug it in, get back on the trail. Um, and then in the center of the light, there's actually an actuator, which there's a controller in the truck for the actuator. So if the lights are propelled out, you're able at higher speeds to actually get the lights to change the direction. So you're able to get them farther out so you can see farther down that trail when you're out there. Or if you need to get them in close beam on close speeds, you can get them right there in front of you so you'll see the trail. Yeah. So it's adjustable on the fly? Just on the fly. We designed it so it was just very functional and it works all the way around. Let's showcase the interior. Look at what they did here. The seats, the low cage, the seat has adjusters on it for the seats. Uh, the seat has adjuster on it, so you can pull the pin, you right. can adjust the seat forward or backwards. We made all the, the mounts the, for that. The mounts and the bracket seat, yep, you did all this. Yep. And then all the floor pans in the truck as well. And then we did a center seat in the back for the person to be elevated a little bit higher in the back. And then also allow them to see up and over at the front of the truck as well. And then you can see the reservoirs right there and how they come out of the top of the towers. We made the towers sealed so we don't get dust up in the car when it's out there on the very nice, very nice. There's a fuel cell in it, and we did a fuel cell in it, uh -huh. and we used all the factory, we designed it so we could use all the factory sending unit, uh, fuel okay. pump, Thank actually you. all the charcoal canister, okay. all the emissions, yeah, yeah. and we built a box up underneath there just in front of the fuel cell that has all that stuff, and it's all plugged in. We built all the wiring harnesses for all that stuff. 
We just wanted it to actually go through emissions. We wanted all the factory stuff to work on the truck as it was designed from the factory. The last question, Jeff, mm -hmm. is all these parts, are you going to uh, uh, Use it, use it, uh, mass produce it, and sell it. You know what? Maybe we can that, do this in the Philippines as well. Maybe you could. Uh, would I love to do that? I just think it'd be very complicated. I think it'd be a, a, a hard one for customers out there to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, are we open to doing it? Absolutely, because I do. I think there's a market out there. Yeah. Uh, sure. A lot of the suspension parts that are used on this are used on the Tacoma as well. Okay. So a lot of these parts could be integrated in both of these trucks. The mm -hmm. Land Cruiser, that, the GX, all that stuff yeah. could be used into the, both the trucks. Um, do I think we'll use it? Um, we probably won't because we got to continue on production for new parts and new designs and new things to always be innovating within our company. Uh, we just wanted to showcase this truck and build a truck that really we can show people just the level of quality and what we yeah. could do at our company that a lot of people say, wow, yeah, they're a manufacturer and a production company, but yeah, look at the level that they're able to build these. Things. The end of the day, it's our passion. It's passion, yeah. It's anyway, guys, to all watching in the Philippines and Qatar, our branches, if you love this build, we can definitely help you. Uh, we'll talk to uh, Jeff here, Westcott uh, Designs, and uh, probably we can duplicate or make something similar. Yeah, yeah. Thank similar. you very much, Jeff. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank thank you. you guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. Really Thanks, appreciate it. Thank you, guys. It. Yeah, thank you guys for making time to combine and talk. Yeah. Rigid. Rigid, rigid. Yeah, I see it. Ganda nga eh. Delet aluminum. Outside the box yung modification. Ayan no? long travel siya. Yung mga cutting dyan. Nandito ng shock tower sa loob. <laughs> Ginawa na lang ng housing uh, para maganda tingnan. Yun. Ang ganda. Sobra. Race rig. Race rig talaga siya. Tire mounting. Ayan. Ganda. So, that's it guys. Thank you. Hey everyone. So, still here at SEMA 2024 here at Las Vegas. Uh, Officially, day one is done. It, is, it was a very fruitful day, no? Ken? Ben? Yes. Uh, talked to a lot of uh, suppliers. Uh, we attended the uh, classes. classes. Marami tayong nakatutunan. But then, uh, there's so much to do and so much to go to. Yeah. We still have few days left. May mga babalikan pa tayo kasi wala. Kinapos na yung oras natin. But then again, guys, please enjoy the short video na ginawa namin from Toyota. And then, nag, uh, umikot kami ng ARB boot. Nag-live kami. And then, we'll be posting the Toyota. Lalo na abangan nyo po yung mga Prado 250 na uh, showcase natin dito sa, sa video. That, and we have few photos that uh, for you to enjoy and for you to get ideas and inspire. But syempre, gawin natin yan pag gusto nyo. Anyway, uh, some rare products that we can bring in. Nabitbitin na namin yan. But looking forward and inviting you all this coming... Uh, uh, Manila Auto Salon on uh, November 14 to 17 at SMX Mall of Asia. Lahat po ng mga products na nakikita nyo dito, mostly, papakita na namin dyan. Kaka-launch pa lang dito, papakita, papakita na namin dyan. Yes. Anything else, Ken? Ben? Asa niya, hindi said, marami kayong abangan. Uh, we are excited to showcase sa inyo yung mga ano yung meron dito. Dadali namin dyan, this coming Manila Auto Salon. At ang dami namin pinipipare ng mga kakaibang builds. One of a kind builds. Alam nyo naman, as always, pag si Autobot, talagang laging may surprise. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Laging may surprise. Yung mga, maraming nakuha si Benedict kanina, ideas ng mga susuot na models. Yes. So, na Ay, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry Pagdating talaga sa mga models, ang bibilis eh. <laughs> Hindi, joke lang. Anyway guys, uh, please enjoy what we prepared a little for you, for all of you guys. So, uh, and please stay tuned. We have several days pa. We'll post more videos, more photos. And thank you. Sa lahat-lahat ng patuloy na sumusuporta sa Autobot. God bless everyone and have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't forget to share the video. Thank you.